It's another edition of the Trading Tips video newsletter, teaching you how to become a successful trader in less than five minutes per week. The video newsletter is brought to you by TradingTips.com. Welcome to this video newsletter on keeping a trading journal, how to set up a trading journal in Microsoft Excel. Although this episode shows you how to set up your journal in Excel, you can apply the same principles to any computer program or even a pen and paper journal. Let's begin. First, we have to answer the question, why bother keeping a trading journal at all? Well, it will allow you to track your progress. If you don't journal your trades, you might remember your wins more vividly than your losses or vice versa. This can give you a false impression. Keeping a trading journal allows you to accurately track your progress as a trader and identify problems in your strategy. You can evaluate your strengths and weaknesses and, by keeping track of your initial thoughts and doing a post-mortem once you've closed out your positions, you can diagnose any problems in your trading psychology. Advantages of keeping a trading journal versus letting your broker or account statements tell the story are numerous. First, you can track performance across multiple platforms. Secondly, you can add customized columns to generate unique statistics. And thirdly, you can keep track of non-quantitative data. Now we'll look at how to set up a trading journal in Microsoft Excel. Keep in mind these same principles and formulas can be used on any computer program or even on paper. I'll share the formulas I use in my trading journal so you can copy them for your own use. First, let's set up columns starting in cell A1 and progressing right for the items listed below ticker, L slash S, etc. This should take you all the way through cell N1. Now a little more about the columns. For each entry in rows 2 and beyond, put a negative 1 in the LS column, column B, for a long position, and a 1 in the column for a short position. This sets up the formula so they will work no matter if your trade is a long or a short. When entering the commission in column E, enter it as a negative number. Now for our first formula. Total dollars, total dollar sign, is the total amount you put up equal to the total cost of your shares plus the opening commission. The formula for this is listed below in textual form, in Excel formula form, and with an example too. Risk is the most you could lose, assuming you don't have a gap on your stop loss. To find this, you need to subtract your stop loss from your entry price and multiply the difference by the number of shares. Then add in the commission times two since you'll be paying commissions when you buy and when you sell. The formulas are provided below. Ultimately, you need to take the absolute value of the result, which means a negative number will read the same as a positive one. This might seem a little complex, but if you're using Excel, you can copy the formulas as shown. The advantage is that you can use the same formulas for both long and short positions. Risk percentage is useful for assessing how much relative risk you're taking. The formulas are provided on this slide. Again, if this seems complex, it's because the formulas are designed to work with both short and long trades. Now we can find your PL percentage, which compares your profit or loss to your total dollars invested, and expresses it in percentage form. Okay, once you've entered these formulas in cells F2, H2, I2, K2, and L2, you can copy them to other rows or fill them down. Then, for every transaction you make, all you have to enter are your entry, stop, and exit prices, the number of shares, and whether the position is long or short. Excel will do all of the remaining work for you. You can also set up an absolute value column for total dollars in column O to calculate totals. Let's look at an example. Notice how the formulas correctly tabulate profit loss and profit loss percentage regardless if the stock is long or short, based on the negative one or one values in column B. Also take note of column O and how I tabulated my profit loss percentage in cell L19. Let's talk a little about the non-quantitative data, which could be the subject of its own episode. In the initial comments field, write why you're entering a trade, how you're feeling, etc. Then when the trade is closed, do a post-mortem, analyzing where you went right or wrong. From time to time, review this to assess your trading psychology. We hope you've enjoyed this video newsletter on keeping a trading journal. Have a wonderful day. This Trading Tips video newsletter has been brought to you by Manny Backus's First Hour Trading System. Every day there's money to be made in the first hour of stock trading. This is the world of day trading. Not for novices. Unless you have a system. The First Hour Trading System. Visit firsthourtrading.com now and sign up for a free 30-day trial. You could make enough in the first hour of your day to take the rest of the day off. 
you want to view more Trading Tips videos? Visit TradingTips.com. Sign up for our free video newsletters. Become a successful trader by visiting TradingTips.com.